we have ancient coins graded by Annex. So I only got four of them. As you can see, I got three here and we're gonna talk about something that happened. All right, here we have the three. This is A, obviously. Blah. <laughs> I don't even know how to read all that. So it's a 454 to 404 BC, Greek, Athens, and Attic in Attica, AR, Tetradrachum. Uh, so anyway, it's a Greek coin. AU50, which I would assume is a pretty good grade. I gotta say, this was in such nice shape when I got it. Please excuse my burn I got there. But this was in such good shape when I got it that I was a bit hesitant. <laughs> I was worried that it was fake. Um, but yeah, I'm glad to see that it is an actual coin. I bought it in London, actually, when I was on vacation. In fact, three of these four coins came from London. But I don't know what it's worth. Uh, I will put it in the bottom right side. And yeah, just want to share these with you. I've never done ancient coin grading before. I wanted to get them encased and preserve them. One of these, I wasn't even, well, honestly, I was nervous of all of them. <laughs> but one of them I actually did think was fake. Uh, just because, but we'll talk about it when I get to it. So next one is an AD 64 to 68 Roman VG10. I think I showed this in my gold video that I did, uh, but very happy to see that it is a real gold coin. Um, and the edge is filed, is damaged, which I did not know, but honestly, I'm just happy it's real. Uh, so it's very cool. Uh, Nero on the bust and 6.13 grams. Oh, nice. I didn't catch that before. So yeah, VG10 gold 64 to 68 Roman coin. AV Eris. I don't know what that means. Again, now this one, I think I paid over $2,000 for this, so I hope it's worth more than that. Here's the reverse, take a good look at it. Pretty nice coin in my opinion. These took forever to get back. I submitted these in November, it is now April. Uh, Annex does not normally take that long, so I'm just assuming it's got something to do with them being ancient coins. And maybe it's because of the size, maybe they don't have the, uh, whatever this is, the silicone bracket that holds them in those sizes. So yeah, anyway, it took a while. Then I got this one. This I've had, I have no clue where I got it from. I've just been holding on to it. This is the one I thought was fake. Um, obviously they say it's corroded there. It's got a nice crack going through it too, which I'm kind of surprised they don't point that out, but it's 100 to, you know, BC 100 to 50 Greek, fine 12. Uh, it's <laughs> early, mid, first century BC, AE, 17 millimeter Zeus on the obverse. There's the reverse for you. I don't know what it is. I can't see it, but I'm honestly just happy it's real. Uh, again, I think it was probably given to me as a kid or something. It, I have this little leather pouch with all kinds of questionable coins I have uh, that I got when I was a kid. No clue. Absolutely no clue where I got this from. So hopefully it's worth something. Something nice. Lots of money. Fingers crossed. And here's the sad one. I got this in uh, London as well. And it was not broken when I sent it. And I don't know how it got broken, I did pack it very nicely. I gotta say, I am suspicious that it was broken by them. <laughs> I hope not, but I had it packed very nicely. It, it was cracked, I'll give them that, it was cracked. So apparently the crack completed, but I'm not too happy about this. I don't want to badmouth them because I don't know what happened. I'd like to think that if they broke it, they'd admit it. <laughs> but I don't know. 
luckily of the three I bought in London, this was the cheaper one. I think I paid like 150 or something for this one. And they did tell me what it was. In fact, hold on a second. Yes, they did. Okay, I have it here. Okay, so this is an AD. You know, I gotta say, they did grade it. Or, well, they did, uh, can't say they graded it. They, they gave me information on it. It's an AD-146, uh, minted in 147. It's Roman. It's Antonius Pius uh, 138 to 161. It must be his reign. B-I-T-E-T. -E I don't know what that means. Uh, Bitet Egypt. So it must be Roman control of Egypt. Alexandria, Antonius Pius, AD 138 to 166, B.I. Tetradrachum, 22 millimeter, 12.96 grams, dated R.Y. 10, AD 146, 147, Laureate, head of Antonius Pius, on the right, facing the right, I guess, draped bust of Serapis. That's not... I don't know what that is. <laughs> Wearing ornate calathus. Then it's got some Greek writing. Looks Greek anyway. I'm really confused. They're talking about Rome, Egypt, got Greek writing. <sighs> Arrangement of reverse legend Datari Savio. K and G, Emmett, blah, blah. A whole bunch of stuff that I can't, that I have no clue what they're talking about. Um, but yeah, it's Roman, 146, 147, with Antonius Pius. Yep, but it's broken, so they didn't put it in a holder. And I gotta say, I do have suspicions because it took so long to get these back. <laughs> I doubt it would have broke in transit. I honestly packed it very well. And them opening it shouldn't have broken it. I have a suspicion that they went to put it in the, you know, they graded it and everything being broken. I think that maybe they broke it trying to put it in the holder. Cause if you look at these, they kind of squeeze right in there. And if they put it there and push down, they may have broken it. <sighs> That's gotta be my first complaint about Annex, but that is only a suspicion. I really don't know what happened. All I know is it wasn't broken when I sent it, but it was cracked. Had it been the gold one, I'd be pretty mad. I don't know. I am not happy about it, I'll admit. Hopefully it's not worth a lot more than I thought it was, because I think, like I said, I think I paid about $140, $150 for it. At any rate, guys... I will have to go back and edit this and put the prices down in the bottom right. If I did not put a price, I could not figure out what it was. Um, but happy they're all real. And especially this one, because like I said, I didn't even know if it was real. So it is. And it's Greek too, because I was kind of thinking if it was something, it was probably uh, British. <laughs> not British, sorry. Uh, Roman. So yeah, let's see, the oldest one I got then is this one. Really good shape, geez. Stuck around for 20, 2,500 years old and it still in decent shape. But I think these aren't super uncommon anyway. I paid 1,100 pounds for this, which I did do some research and I think I were way overpaid for that, but I don't know, <laughs> I'll do my research. I'll put it down bottom right. I'm just repeating myself at this point. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Leave your comments below. Uh, should I be mad at Anax? And did I overpay for some of these? Take it easy. Catch you on the next one.